Welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by John... by John, Donnie? I do know my name. Yes, this is Donnie and I have a post review for you. I finally finished a diamond painting. Um, I have the lighting different in here because it's too hard to see the sparkle with all the lights on. So I turned them down so that we could get a better view of how this thing looks. This is my rhinestone horse and I had I started this video once. This is my second time starting it because I went to look for my leftover drills from this diamond painting and I I couldn't find the bag but I um I'll get to that in a minute, but I need to look at, <laughs> I need to, that was the other thing is I was going to look up what, um, where this is in the book so I can tell you where I bought it from and everything. So I'll be right back. All right. This was actually, um, purchased from eBuy online store, which is a Hulican store. It is a 40 by 50. Let's see if you can see some of the sparkle here. It is so pretty. It's got, it has several, um, it has at least two AB gems. And I've loved working with them. When I use the pick me up tool, I don't have any issues with the coating coming off. I didn't have any issues anyway on any of these having the coating come off the, the paint that's on the bottom of them. And um, this was actually a really enjoyable project. My only issue is that I can never get <clears throat> seem to get the the drills to cover the spaces completely it's that's my own um, issue <laughs> where I can't get them seem to get them to go on all the way but if you can look here uh, two of the well this purple color the the lavender purple in here and then this pink those are both AB gems and then the, the purple here, the silver, and this pink here. There's two different pinks, actually. They're rhinestone. Uh, then it's got two special gems, but there's only one of each. The one was right here, and one is right here. And this one was really hard to place because it kept falling out of my hands. Uh, it, I don't know how long it took me. Uh, I didn't write it down when I started it, but it's one of those things that it took me quite a while because it was a living room project. I'd say it took me five or six evenings sitting down and watching movies. Um, so it would be two to two to four hours at a time. So it, it took me quite a bit of time to do it, but I, you know, I took my time working on it. Um, I can see the sparkle here. I don't know if you're just seeing shine or what but maybe if I turn this one little light on it can give you some idea of the sparkle but maybe not I think that's just more of a oh yeah you can see the sparkle but it is beautiful and what I'm gonna do after um, I finish showing you everything on this is I'm going to do another video and I'm gonna frame it or I might just frame it in this video because it should be pretty simple to do. But as far as doing this, I had fun. It, it was a lot of fun. I loved seeing the pretty um, AB colors and all the rhinestones. There were no colors that were just, you know, your regular um, faceted round drills. So this had cost $11.32 from eBuy online. I will link it down below. Um, it took them 25 days to get it to me. Um, but here is the picture that it advertises in the store on AliExpress. And you know, this is what it turned out to be like. I will actually show you a side by side of this photo compared to the photo I took of this so you can get a little better of a idea of how it actually looks compared to how they make it look on their website. I think some of the colors are 
quite different now that I'm looking at this because these look like they are black this outline area but it's actually silver they're the this the silver rhinestone here um, I'm not sure which I think looks better I mean I like the look of this quite a bit I'm not sure if it would have looked better with the black I don't know what's your opinion what do you think do you think it would have looked better with black or how it does now with the silver because I think the silver is kind of hard to see um, from a distance it kind of doesn't look like there's anything in those spots but it you know it's still sparkly and I don't know if those blacks that they advertised it with would have been regular drills or if they would have been the rhinestones or not so I didn't get a whole lot of garbage out of this uh, here is what I collected and that really isn't very much at all I know the light since I turned the light off it's uh, hard to see but there we go mostly um, they were gems with the where the paint wasn't they didn't have the paint all the way on the bottom yeah there's a square drill in there I don't know how that got in there but um, uh, <laughs> oh yeah the, these other drills are in here because they they were supposed to have a B coating on them and they didn't so I pulled them out because they were they were in with the a B coated gems but this is not much at all um, there were a couple that were concave, some that had the uh, painting on the wrong side. So the purple was on the flat side instead of on the curved part. But that that is so little amount of garbage that, you know, I almost didn't bother uh, collecting it because I didn't get any for quite a while. There was one that was a oddball color. It looks kind of gold colored in there. I figure out the angle of my camera here there we go yeah you probably can't see it it takes forever to focus anyway if you really want to see what the garbage looks like there you go but there wasn't very much now I like I said I couldn't find the bag that my that I had kept the drills in I can't find it I don't know what happened to it <laughs> I just don't know and it's frustrating me but um, what I had left as far as the drills go are everything you see in here plus I had an entire bag another bag of the silver I didn't even have to open the second bag so there's not very much in left in that silver but you can see for these AB gems there are quite a bit left there's actually three AB gem colors three rhinestone colors and well plus four and four rhinestone colors counting the silver so I actually have a nice uh, accumulation of AB gems if I wanted to use them on something see those three colors they are so pretty and then there's the rhinestones and I do keep them because I can't I couldn't imagine throwing these away and this was a container out of my um, Craftmates lockables it was perfect because there was only seven colors plus two special shaped gems now the oh yeah the only thing that I don't really like about this is that the stickiness um, it extends quite a ways out from the spot so this whole area in here is like sticky yeah you can hear that and it shouldn't be that way um, you shouldn't um, have all these blank spots ready to just collect hair and dirt and everything so I'm gonna make sure to get this behind a frame right away in fact I am going to toss these gems real quick here and we are going to get my camera out and I'm gonna turn that light back on okay lights on 
and I actually have a frame that I've had around for a while that I planned on using at some point and I've never used one before to you know for framing but I picked it up at Walmart it is a mainstays poster frame and it is the perfect the exact size as a 40 by 50 which is would be a 16 by 20 if you can see here this does say right there 40 by 50 40.6 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters which is 16 by 20 so we're gonna see and I am gonna keep the acrylic over it because I'm not gonna spray this one with any kind of uh, adhesive I'm going to because it's gonna be behind the acrylic and the reason for that is because of all the stickiness that's left on this so let's see how simple it is to frame with one of these now I don't know if I should cut the frame out I'm what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this apart which you just take the end pieces off and all, all four corner all four edges and this um, acrylic actually has a coating on it that can be peeled off. So I'm going to peel that off. Ah, come on. Okay, so it's nice and shiny clean for whatever that was and we're going to take out take this part out recycle that and now we're left with the backing so from the looks of it this should fit with just a hair hair of a mount over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna lay this down right here. I'm going to line it up because I can see the edge of the inside frame. And it actually comes out quite a bit more. No, actually not much at all. So I'm going to Just kind of I've never like I said I've never done this I'm just kind of bending it up where I think it's gonna go and then I'm looking at it on the other side to see where it bent up see there's quite a bit of a gap up here but where did that put it down below yeah that's like right on the edge of where the gems are so it needs to go down even more so I'm just kind of eyeballing it, which is never good, but I'm going to I'm going to mark on here. Where it OK. I don't want to cut it. I'm wondering if this will fit back on here if I have it just folded over. Let's try that. Yeah, it will. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it over, over the cardboard because I, I don't want to mess it up. And the neat thing is that on these canvases, they have lines right here on all four corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip it right where the 
where those are. I'm going to cut those corners off. And then I'm, I'm going to just fold this over the edge of the uh, the piece, the back piece, the cardboard. So this one was a little longer anyway because it had it goes beyond the white, so the white should have been where they where they cut it, but they cut it. Um, they didn't quite cut it perfect. I'm just going to trim that off where the white is. Oh, come on. I'm trying to make sure I don't uh, let my clip end. And Okay, I've got plenty of time. All right, so then let's get this top corner. But I really, I really liked this. And, and if you are looking for a beautiful rhinestone diamond painting to do that's fairly large, this is perfect. I mean, yeah, Who Can has had a lot of questionable things going on with their the quality of their square drills. Uh, but one thing I've never had a problem with Who Can or any of their other companies is with their rhinestone paintings. I've gotten quite a few of I've received quite a few of them from them, and it's never been an issue. They've always come out beautiful like this. All right, so. Now that these notches are here, this tells me exactly where the edge of the picture is. And hopefully we can line this up to go directly over. It might go over a little bit, but that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's slightly smaller than the frame. But it's just such a tiny, tiny amount. But I want the bottom to actually be cut. I don't want it showing at all because of uh, the key being down here. So I am going to just kind of getting it lined up the where where it's eyeballing it to where it's even between each side. And I'm going to roll this around it. Mm. Now, what kind of adhesives should I use? Hmm. I don't want to use glue. I'll use some duct tape. Let's see. I'll just use some of this leftover duct tape that I'm trying to use up. Since this won't show, it'll be on the back. It doesn't matter. Alright. I got it where I want it. Let's tape it down. It really shouldn't be this difficult or this complicated to just stick one of these things in a frame. But if you don't want to cut it, you know, you kind of have to get inventive or creative on what you do. So I believe this frame was like five bucks at Walmart. Something like that. All right, so that's there, and I'm going to pull on it as best I can to make sure it's completely flat, and then pull this end up, and the writing on this side is, this side is now covered. I mean, it's hidden. It'll be hidden on the back. Oh, goodness. This is one of those things where I wish I had an extra hand. Okay. I mean, I guess.
guess I could have just put the the frame edges on to hold it in, but I want to make sure it stays, you know. Okay. Now we've got that. The two sides, I mean the bottom and the top, so let's get the sides rolled up. Oh yeah. That will still look really good. Alright, so let's just tape this and then get the frame put back on and we're done. Except I'm out of this duct tape. Well, I guess I get to use two different duct tapes. Eh. Let's see if I can find one that I've already started. All right, here's a blue one. We'll do this. I haven't started it, but let's see how well it works. This is Dollar Tree duct tape. That This roll of duct tape here I've had for many, many, many years. And I finally just finished it off. So, um, here we go. Now I gotta start it. Here we go. All right. I'm not sure the quality of this tape. It is thinner, but I don't know if you can see down here on this end. But I'm pulling up as I before I place it down to get it as tight of a stretch as possible. Of course, you can hear Stephanie next door laughing about something through the wall. All right. Yeah, I've never, I have yet to do a framing of something that actually has a frame in the frame. You know what I'm saying? It, I don't think these type of diamond paintings that have the frame as part of the picture would look good in a frame frame with, you know, um, a decorative frame or something because that would kind of take away from the whole visual effect of the, the diamond painting that makes it look like it's already in a frame, you know. Boy, I'm having a hard time with this duct tape. All right. There we go. That side's done. So you can see, I have this side done. And now we'll do the last side and then put the edges on. I'm actually going to do it this way where I'm laying it flat because that Less. That other side was just a pain. Okay. I'm dropping it. Edge pieces. Alright, so it's attached to the canvas. And now I'm pulling up and pressing down onto here. I don't need to worry about this side hook getting covered because this is a portrait painting and not landscape so as long as I have this one open I'm good all right so that is now on the backing and you can see the one crease on here that I made when I was diamond painting and I had folded it over my light pad but um, I'm not too worried about it 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 doesn't really take from it 
so now let's put this back on and and then stick our sides back on so that see that corner there where I had cut it because the picture the frame is just a slight difference than the frame that is going to actually not show at all it will be covered up by these edge thingies the frame itself if I can figure out how to there we go get it on oh that's the uh, that's the top there we go a little bit of a squeeze because of the extra amount of area in there from the canvas and the duct tape here I'm putting the one on the bottom okay these actually have it looks like how this side you can, it looks kind of gray and the front is black so you know which is the back and the front problem here is there's a small small area at the bottom of this painting that is covered up by the frame uh, of the, the some of the diamonds but that's okay oh I got the it was stuck in the tape here all right you can adjust them if you've got them in not positioned right all right so let's do this one and this is the back that's where the gray goes and this the duct tape doesn't go all the way over to the edge on this side on either of the sides it's mainly the top that has that extra there we go Something is not meeting up right. Let's see. We'll get the other side on and then we'll make sure everything is lined up. Make sure that the acrylic got underneath when you clip it on there. Okay. So these meet at the corner. And then there's a gap here. So it looks like... Okay. This bottom piece needs to go over the tape better so it can meet at the corner. There we go. And then push this one in. So now four corners, well these two corners meet. Now let's check this side. Yep, and there we go. That meets up. This just needs to go over the tape better. And it's even. Ready to see? I'm not sure where it cut off. It was recording the last time I looked, but I forgot to check to see how much time it was. I was just saying that I'm surprised this fit because I it just occurred to me that, you know, this gem right here sticks out quite a ways. And as you can see, it really didn't affect it. Um as far as it protruding too far. You can kind of see how far out it goes. You can probably see better than I can because I'm not down, I can't see it very well. There it's focusing. So it didn't do too bad. And I didn't even think of that when I was planning to do this frame for this one. It does push up quite a bit right here, but it didn't affect it. And because this had so much adhesive still um, showing, and I didn't want to cover it with any kind of uh, coating, um, any glue or sealant or anything, because I didn't want the AB gems to possibly get, um, the, the, the effect of the AB gems get diminished at all. I have not sealed one with AB gems. I have sealed one with rhinestones. So I, I just didn't want to chance that. So, you know, this frame was perfect for it, 
and you can still see how much it sparkles even inside the frame. In fact, right there, you can't even really tell that it's behind a frame. So I'm really happy with this. You know, um, $5 to frame. $5 frame job. You know, maybe if you want to throw in a dollar for the duct tape, $6. So $6 frame job. And perfect if you want to give it as a gift to someone right there. And you could even mail something like this easily because of the fact that it's not glass. So you wouldn't have to worry about it getting broken and chipping. So that's just some ideas for you guys. If you are wondering how to frame your 50, 40 by 50 uh, diamond paintings, uh, this is what this size was. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really pleased. This is the biggest one I've ever framed. Um, well, I can't say that. The one I made for my friend was a 40 by 50, but I did it differently. This is the first one I've actually framed around a inside one of these. And see, the great thing about this is I can pop it off and put that gem on that I see is missing now. <laughs> I realized I had pulled it off because it was uh, a bad gem and I forgot to put the new one back on. And that's what's great. I could just pull this side off here and probably pull the top off, pull this back a little bit, put the gem on, and then put it back, back together. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this framing video. And I hope to see you in my next video. Um, take care. <laughs> Have fun diamond painting. Have fun framing. And don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.